In this video, I want to discuss some animations and stuff, so stay tuned. And welcome to part four, I think, of my Prism Pack build. I have decided this week that I'm going to do another modification on the design from the Proton Pack in the movie. That being this area here. Now if you're familiar with the Proton Packs in the new movie, the area on top of here just has a random metal plate on it, which I think is a bit boring. So I have decided to cut a hole in it. And the reason that hole's in there is because I want to add a screen. Now for the past few months I've been talking to a guy called Ryan Mass and he's been providing me with animations uh, which have been designed by his friend Jacob Bartlett and the reason for this is because Ryan is planning on building a Mark III Holtzman armband unit with better animations and stuff so the two of us have been working quite closely whilst I try and refine the code as much as possible to run the animations as smooth as possible. And as of today, I think I'm happy with the code now and the animations are running perfectly. So expect and look out for a Holtzman armband Mark III within the next few months. But the reason that applies here is because some of the animations that Jacob has provided me with would be perfect on the Proton Pack to make this area look a little bit more exciting. And what I intend to do is have different animations display depending on what functions are currently in use on the Proton Pack. And to get a little bit of idea um, what I mean by that, let's go and have a look at the animations that I've incorporated into the code so far and how they are going to be incorporated into the Proton Pack depending on which functions are being used. So I apologise that the screen's been a little bit slow for the last couple of minutes whilst I've been rabbiting on, but things will get a little bit more exciting now. Okay, so now we're over at my setup and you can see that I've got four screens um, one of which is on a couple of breadboards with an SD card sticking out the bottom of it and they're hooked up to what's called an Arduino Duo which I believe is the fastest Arduino you can get. Now the reason there are four screens here is because in order to get the animations to run fast and smooth I had to buy all four of these different screens to test the different speeds. Um, this one I can't even get to work, even though it has a really cool header thing on the bottom of it. Um, it seems to short out somewhere, so I'll have to play with that another time. Which I'm a bit disappointed about because it's massive. The next one, this is the screen that's used in my Holtzman armband units. It is a 2.8 TFT LCD screen with SD card. And the SD card socket is where it pulls the images from for the Holtzman armband unit. This one is very similar to the other one that I showed you, but it runs on a different TFT chip, which means the coding required for it uh, is slightly different. And the first batch of commissions I did for the Holtzman armband unit all used this screen. And then when I purchased another screen from Amazon, uh, they sent me this one and suddenly my code stopped working so I had to rewrite everything again which was a pain in the bum. Now the screen I've settled with is called an ILI9341 and it is a beastie screen and you can overclock it and run it at super high speeds particularly on the Arduino Duo. Now it doesn't run off the side pins, those pins here, like these do. You can see they've got the pins down the sides. It runs uh, off something in the middle called SPI which I don't really understand to be honest with you. I just know that I plug stuff in there and it goes faster. So as I mentioned these animations were made by Jacob Bartlett and distributed to me by Ryan Mass. and as a result I'm afraid they're not available for redistribution. They're not mine to give away. Um, I'm just using them 
whilst learning how to use these screens. So let's get into the animations and have a look at the different things that will show depending on what mode the Proton Pack is in. I'm currently powering it from my Mac via USB cable. So if I just plug that in there, you'll see the first animation come up. And this is a screensaver animation, which will just play whilst the pack is in idle mode. And they all run through twice, so you can get a good look at them. The next one is also a screensaver. And it is based on the, if you see something, say something from the new movie. This is the one that I'll probably be using when the Proton Pack boots up. Um, it's got a few different things written on the screen. And then it'll run through again. This one I'd like to use whilst the Proton Pack is firing the Proton Streams. You can see the power bar goes down and then Proton Pack signal is lost. So when the fire button is pressed, that will gradually deplete until it gets to the warning buzzer and then Proton Pack signal lost. This is another screensaver one, which will just play when the pack is in idle mode. Uh, just a quirky little thing, not sure when that's going to come in. I just have all of these to play with. Uh, this will probably um, be playing whilst the Proton Pack is starting up as well. I quite like the calibrating, but it's the logo that Kevin designed, which I think is quite quirky. Uh, a quote from the original movies again, when they're on telly, another screensaver one. And we have the old containment breach from my armband units, but this time the lights on the sides flash as well. You can see Kevin's logo again. And this is probably my favorite animation. So that's all the animations that will be going into it. As you can see, most of them are screensavers, but I just think it'll just uh, give the pack a little bit more character to have that screen down in that corner. I'm hoping to get the, uh, the block to install this screen and to print it either this week or next week. I'm waiting for some more black filament to arrive. Um, but I'm really looking forward to installing this feature and setting the different functions up to different pack functions. Uh, this is really all I've got time for for this video this week, um, but if you enjoyed it, uh, please subscribe to me. Uh, definitely like this video because liking the video really helps. It tells all your friends that you like the video and maybe they'll watch it and enjoy themselves too. Also like my Facebook page at Captivating Costumes. And I will see you again next time. Thank you very much for watching. It's always appreciated. And love you all.